Oh my god. I think I think they forgot to connect the air. You forgot to connect the air to the helmet. All right. I'm here to show you how to make what I think is probably the coolest app that we've made in actually quite a while. It's called Magic Fish Snake and it's six six lines of code that you have to type. Uh, I swear to god, it only takes like 4 minutes to do, so follow along with me. Um I've been reminded that I should remind you to share this video if you think it's cool. So let's go ahead and code this thing. I'm going to take this off because um, it improves the audio. Here we go. I am over in Bitsbox right now, and I'm going to show you the app that we're going to make. So check this out. Uh, I didn't give it a title, but watch. When I drag on the screen, you will see that I am making a snake that emerges from a very thin line out of fish and the fish rather mesmerizingly uh, rotate and spin. So let's make that, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, do is make a new app, just like this. I'm gonna invent my own app. And what I like to do is go ahead and just give things a, um, a title right away because I think they're easier to find later in my account. So we'll go and save that. The first thing I do whenever I'm making a new app is I make a, just put a stamp. I break the ice by just going ahead and putting a stamp on the screen. I want to put a fish. Now, I don't know which fish I want, so I'll go over in here. I'm going to search my stamps for fish. And you'll notice that in Bitsbox, we have a lot of stamps. Um, the colorful ones that I want to use start here at fish 34. I think I'll just go ahead and put fish 34 on the screen. So we'll go fish 34 and finish this and check it out. I've got fish 34 right there in the middle of my screen, 500 pixels wide, which is the default, and that's exactly what I expected to happen. But what I want to do is make it so that when I drag on the screen, um, fish a fish snake appears, right? So what I need is a function. I need specifically Bitsbox's drag function. And I'll go ahead and I'll just put that little command directly inside that function, just like that. So every time I drag, it's going to stamp that fish, hopefully where I want it. Let's go ahead here. Good. Now when I drag, that fish appears. Oh, but I forgot to tell it to put the fish where I'm dragging. And the way to do that in Bitsbox is to give it the coordinates x, comma, y. Now let's rerun my app. And now when I drag, you'll notice I'm getting something which is undoubtedly awesome but which is not exactly what I wanted. So let's make that actually a little bit smaller. Now that's only an 80 pixel fish snake that's growing. Still cool, I could stop here, but the fun's not over. So this is what I wanna do. I want to make it so that these things get bigger after I stamp them. And for that, I need to use the size command. And to use the size command, I need each of these little fish things to be a separate uh, named object. So I'm gonna make each of these little separate fish stamps into an object called ink. And then I'm gonna add a new line and say, ink is going to size. And it's gonna size up to that 80 pixel size over the course of say two seconds, which is 2000 milliseconds. And I want them to start being only one pixel big when I draw, so watch. Now when I drag on the screen, each little fish is being stamped at one pixel and then over the next two seconds grows to be 80 pixels big. Make sense? Okay. Let's also make them rotate. So we'll go ink.rotate. Um, I want them to rotate to the right by two revolutions, let's say, uh, which is 720 degrees. And I want them to rotate for a long time. So let's do 30 seconds, which is 30,000 milliseconds. And let's do that. Here we go. Remember, if you like this video, you should share it with somebody because sharing is caring. Here we go. We've got this nice purple snake and it's all uh, rotating and mesmerizing. But what we didn't do was make a random fish. Remember, we wanted a whole bunch of colorful fish and right now it's just fish 34. If I go back up here to my little stamps collection, I can see that the fish that I want to stamp are fish 34 through fish 45, which means I need to assign a random number 34 through 45. So I'm going to make a variable called number, and the value of that variable is going to be a random number from 34 to 45. And then down here, I'm going to make the name of the stamp that gets actually stamped the word fish plus the value of that random um, 
number, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to go and then say fish plus the random number I just picked, which could be 34 through 45. Let's see what that looks like. Here we go. I'm going to stamp and it's not working. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? This is a good question. Why isn't it working? Those aren't. Um, Emma, can you see what's going on? So it's the stamp fish plus the random number. Let's see. Somebody out there knows what's going on. Let's go here. That's not working either. I must have messed something up, but I can't see it right now. The random? You should oh, it's not the word random. That should be the word number. Thank you. It's a lot of pressure to be on television or whatever this Facebook thing is. Let's try this again. I'm going to put it back from ball to fish. And then drum roll. Here we go. And now when I draw, I get a lovely, colorful, mesmerizing, hypnotic fish snake. I bet you haven't seen one of those things before. Um, keep in mind that because uh, all we're doing is assigning a random number to the end of this string fish, there's other ones that you could do too. So watch, I could say I want this to be a block. Now I don't have this many blocks, but let's say I did a random number from say 1 to 20 and I stamp, I could do these cool blocks or I could change this to ball. Um, other cool ones that work are we have monster, there's car, there's dog. So you should try those, but you should try all kinds of things. Make this app yourself. Make it so cool. I hope you have fun with this. Share your apps. Make them everywhere. Have fun. Take care. Thanks. Bye.